sworn to uphold the law, a Lake County Sheriff's officer now finding himself on the wrong side of it. This after he seriously injured a man in a hit and run crash. Good morning and thanks for joining us. I'm Lionel Moyes. I'm Erin Kennedy. This morning, Gary Police revealed the officer's blood alcohol level was twice the legal limit at the time. CBS 2's Susanna Song live at the scene of the crash. And Gary, good morning, Susanna. Good morning, Aaron and Lionel. We have exclusive video of this hit and run crash. Witnesses say the father was packing his van right at this corner. The impact so strong that it had him flying at least 25 feet back. You can see from this exclusive home surveillance video a man standing behind his van. Suddenly, a car enters from the right. Moments later, the man is struck. I was on my patio and I heard the thud and I heard her start screaming and I ran up. Neighbor Jim Corbeil said spectators were leaving the Gary Air Show. Many had parked here near Miller Beach. 34 year old Derek Dirks of Frankfurt was one of them, packing up his family van when, in broad daylight, a white Crown Victoria struck him from behind. They sat right in front of us down at the beach, and I mean, the greatest, cutest little family. They had five children, five, four girls and a boy, and they were, they were just having a great time. Mm -hmm. And for this to happen is just. For them, it's sad. The driver kept going as Dirks lay on the ground. You feel so helpless. You're down there trying to help the man, and his wife is just hysterical. He wasn't really moving much, and I couldn't even tell if he was uh, if he was breathing. I tried to straighten out his legs just a little bit to see if anything was broken, and everything seemed to be okay in his arms. And uh, then he just had. His one eye opened up. Turns out the driver, according to police, was Lake County Sheriff Lieutenant Guy Mikulich. The 37-year-old is a 16-year veteran. He was in an unmarked police car, still in uniform. He had been working the air show minutes before the crash. Police say he was arrested a short time later with a blood alcohol content of 0.15, nearly twice the legal limit. That really surprised me, yeah, that they, would, that they wouldn't stop. And then, of course, finding out this morning that you know, had been drinking. Mm -hmm. The lieutenant is in Lake County Jail right now. He's been charged with two felonies, driving while intoxicated, causing bodily injury, and leaving the scene of the crash. He's been in trouble before. In 2009, the county settled with a man who alleged Mikulich used his police power to beat him in 2006. Now, at this time, he's been put on paid administrative leave. Dirks, meanwhile, is at the hospital. He was taken there with serious injuries. According to police, he was legally parked here. Here at this corner. For now, we are live in Gary, Indiana. Susanna Song, CBS 2 News. Aaron Lionel. Susanna, thank you.